Um, what we have is two things happening. We have the rise in cases, and what we have as a result of that is not a decline, but a flattening of the curve of opening up the, the uh, economy here. Let's take a look at the COVID data right away from the COVID tracking project. We are now running at 106% of the April average in terms of new cases. What we have not seen yet is a spike in the number of hospitalizations or deaths. They remain at around 30% of the April average, which was the worst month so far. You can see that in the chart as the seven-day average of uh, these cases spike up and rise. A uh, big jump yesterday and the day before that. But hospitalizations and deaths not following along, thank God, obviously. And we'll see if that becomes a delayed indicator. Now, looking at what's happened on the economic side. Uh, the Apple Mobility Index continues to climb. Some gains in transit uh, and, and walking requests for walking directions as well as driving directions remain above the January average that they measured against. But it's the home base employees working that's down 24 percent. This would have been coming up, and now you'll see in a second it's not been. And store closings, Yelp continues to register store closings on a week-over-week -week basis, not a net gain, not net gains nationally. There's the employees worked home base that economists like because it did a good job of telling us that there were actually jobs created in the month of May. Uh, and so now that's flattened and actually has gotten a little bit worse. It's, uh, so that's something that may be related to the COVID spike. And I want to introduce you to a new barometer that we've been watching here, a, a tech startup, Burbio. They aggregate calendars from all over 3,100 countries around, uh, 3,100 counties around the country. And what they look at is community activity, schools, uh, uh, libraries, uh, chambers of commerce, all civic stuff. And you can see it's opening somewhat or getting towards an 80% opening in, the, um, uh, uh, in, in some of the smaller areas, but the bigger cities, the bigger towns uh, have, have not really been opening. This map needs to go big, really dark green in order for the U.S. economy to be open. On the one hand, I think these libraries and schools, they're going to be very cautious. But this may be a leading indicator, guys, because they're picking up calendar events. So it goes in the calendar and it's going to happen as a live event. Uh, they will tell us that it's opening. So you can see there we need to get dark green on this uh, map in order to get it back. So right now, the majority of the country remains closed. Some gains in this index. But it's another thing, Becky, that we're going to be following. If the schools aren't open, I don't think the country can be open.